Ooh. I got hit. Yeah? Yeah, on a, on a retrieve like this. It feels decent, bro. Came out, hit twice. Oh yeah, he's going, he's going, dude. It's something. Oh, it feels pretty decent. <laughs> Bitch, it's probably a macro. Well, what is that? Oh shoot, what is that? All right, good morning, mother suckers. I am out here, Harbor Island again. I know you guys probably hate these Harbor Island videos, but I am out here with my buddy, James. Hey. <laughs> and we are gonna be starting this morning off with the top water. It's been a while since I got a top water fish, so I'm itching for a top water blow up. It don't matter what it is, mackerel, smelt, grass. I'm gonna try to get it. But we'll see how it goes. It is 5.30 a.m. and we are tired. Oh, all right, we gotta go. There's time to blow up out there. All right, so you guys stay tuned. Enjoy the video. Dude, they're boiling all over, bro. They are boiling all over. All right, let's get this top water bite going. Yeah, what the hell, seagulls? Get out of here. I gotta take time casting because too much excitement equals bird's nest. Dude, there's bait everywhere. I gotta get lower. I can't work this top water too high. Ugh, somebody smells dead over here. Oh, come on, man. You saw that? That wasn't a macro. Let me change the color real fast. Something big blow up on my thing. Let's see what other top waters I have. Dude, that was a big blow up too. He popped at it. It's the closest thing I have to silver. I don't even know what the name of this color is, but I got it from Fred Hall earlier this year. That bloat was definitely not a mackerel. Definitely a Corvina. Yeah, the last Kaiba one I have is a sardine pattern. Is it? Yeah. Ooh, I got hit. Yeah? Yeah, on a, on a retrieve like this. There we go. Nice. That's pretty good. It feels pretty decent. <laughs> Bitch, it's probably a macro. Well, what is that? Oh shoot, what is that? Oh, it's a Corvina. Yeah, it is. Nope, not losing you this time. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. My first legit Corvina of the year. There you guys go. Got him on the Kaibo iron right here. <laughs> That's crazy. We were chasing boils all over the place. We had a couple top water blowouts, but nothing was committing. So it had to be these guys. It wasn't no macro. If it was macro, we would have been slaying them right now. Here we go. My first short fin Corvina of the year. Beautiful thing. It's missing a tooth, but vampire fish. This is the first one of the year for me, and I am pretty damn excited about it. So I'm going to get it unhooked and let it go. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. All right, here we go. And off he goes. You guys want to know what was stinking up in here? Dead bat ray. Is it? Yeah. Oh, 
someone hooked them and left them there that's what was smelling i don't know if you guys can see that but there's a dead bat ray right there all messed up that sucks but yes got my first corvina of the year first catch of the morning on the kaibo <laughs> you ever caught one this year huh I remember when you first ever caught one, you tried to lip it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you texted me, he's like, that thing had teeth. I'm like, oh, that's a Corvina. <laughs> so they're chasing bait. There's bait balls everywhere. I don't keep Corvina. If I gut hook one or whatever, then I'll keep them. But right now, no. What else a bite? I'm just steady retrieving, dude. Ooh, that bird scared me. I thought I was gonna hit my line in the midair. I held onto my rod real tight. That was a bycatch, dude. I was hoping for a mackerel. Really? Yeah, then he started feeling like he started tugging. Yeah. Started peeling a little bit of drag. With that little wind picked up out there, you can't see the bait ball. I know. Yeah, what we did, we started off with top water with the jerk bait. Tried different kinds of top water, they just weren't having it. So we switched over to iron and he got hit once, so I switched over. I got hit twice, landed one. Just gotta cycle through baits and see what works. You're on? Nice. See what it is. Jane's finally hooked up. It could be bonefish, it could be corvina. Mackerel usually swims away. Feels pretty heavy? Oh, little, little Mac. Little Mac. Oh, okay, Mom. Well, he lives to see another day. <laughs> you saw that? Oh, that big old bait ball right there, right in front of us. Because that Corvina I caught had a belly on him, dude. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was on. It's bottom. Oh, that was weird. There we go. Oh, there we go. I'm on. Barracuda? Double up, dude. I got something decent. It feels decent, bro. Came out hit twice. Oh, yeah. He's going. He's going, dude. It's something. Barracuda? Oh, what? Double up on Barracuda. Oh, got him on the side. That's why he felt so big. You got pliers on you? Yeah. Check it out. That's so slimy, dude. I know, they stink. Double up on Kudas. Dude, he tore my line up. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Get this guy back. Oh, he, he gave you a show right now. He just jumped in the air. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust these guys. Wait. No, I don't trust them. <laughs> oh, you got the line around. Did he? Not anymore. There you go. Hey, first, was this my first cuda of the year? Oh, no, I got one on a skiff. Oh, did, oh, yeah, you did. You did. The world's smallest one. <laughs> there you go. Dude, two species. Make it three. You got a Mac? Yeah. And we got kudas and one corvina. Do all predatorial fish out today? Hey, that's cool. Not bad, dude. He felt big, man. He hit it twice, dude. I think he hit the line first. Yeah, I think so. That's why I thought. Yeah, dude, that line's messed up, bro. You gotta take that out, bro. I am going to. Well, I'm, well, I just gotta retie up. Got a long leader. Hey, yo, Kaivo, you watching this? Putting your bait to work today. No macro on it yet. Like, you figure, you see big bait ball, you figure to be a lot of big fish around or more predatorial fish attacking these bait. But 
looks like we're the only ones spooking them and we're just picking off whatever just straggling around I want it to be like boom back to back insane bites but it's not happening that way all right jig power spin time I'm throwing on 30 gram I'm gonna chuck it out there 30? yep 30 gram let's see what 30 gram can do probably gonna break this rod I don't know I kind of want to catch a spotty, man. Huh? kind of want to catch a spotty right now. <laughs> I'm going to bump it down to 25 so I can work it slower. Uh, From my bath? No, no. Hmm? Yo, I'll do 18. You got 18 on? Huh? Uh, the blue zebra or purple zebra? Purple zebra. Damn, you try to whip it? Broke off in your spool? It's gotta be down there, it ain't going nowhere. It's not moving anymore. Oh, it's got the light. I know. I know I felt something. Oh yeah. Oh I lost it. <laughs> Here you go, man. Save you ten bucks. Oh, yeah, lost yeah. line, but you got your bait back. Alright guys, alright, alright, alright. So we were going to fish this point right here by the harbor police station thingy majiggy but look at my face i am tired i am beat my head is throbbing i need sleep so i'm probably gonna i'm i'm probably gonna call it and yeah i think it was successful uh caught a fair share i need some sleep but <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna close it out right there, guys. Everything I use in this video, description below. Be sure to check that out. And also, if you guys have any questions, comment below. If you guys wanna start a conversation, I would love to start up a chat with you guys or a conversation with you guys in the comment section below. So if you guys wanna talk, comment below. But, yep, to conclude the video, man, yeah, that's it. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, then so be it. Watch something else, but yeah, I'm gonna call it right there, guys. As always, good fishing and peace the hell out.